In this video, we'll be discussing the hydraulic conductivity lab. In this lab, we have two methods for testing the hydraulic conductivity of soil, the constant head test and the falling head test. In both methods, we'll be using the Permian meter with filled with soil. In the equations for calculating the hydraulic conductivity, L is the height of the soil specimen. To measure the cross-sectional area of the specimen, we measure the outer diameter of the Permian meter cell and subtract the length by two times the thickness of the cell walls. Before starting the test, it is important to saturate the soil specimen by running at least 200 milliliters of water through the Permian meter, filling the cell with water and expelling any air inside the cell. Doing this will increase the flow rate of the test. In the constant head test, we will be using a large funnel as our reservoir. While the test is being conducted, we keep the water level of the funnel relatively constant, hence constant head. The water will travel into the Permian meter and through the soil and will fall into a graduated cylinder. We keep track of the time as the water fills the graduated cylinder and record the volume of the water collected and the duration of the water collection when we close the valve. In the following head test, we will need a burette. After making sure the plastic tubes connecting the burette to the Permian meter are fully saturated, record the height of the water level to the water outlet, and open the valve and keep track of the time. After the water has fallen for a while, close the valve and record the time and the new water level to outlet height. Repeat until there are at least three consistent test results. <laughs> 